Hey guys, Zach here with Imaging Spectrum, and today I want to show you how easy it is to create a custom gallery wrap using Epson's P9570 and Paycor stretcher bars for a quick and easy way to add some flair to your offerings. Today we're going to be using the Exhibition Canvas Satin and Epson's newest P-Series line for unbelievably high quality photos, and we're going to put that all on a canvas wrap, so let's jump right in. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and open a free software, which I do recommend for some folks who don't wanna maybe um, dive into Photoshop for the first time, and it's called Epson Print Layout. Free for both Mac and PC. You can quickly and easily make your own gallery wraps without having to spend countless hours kind of prepping everything there. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna open it up. We're gonna make sure we have our media type selected properly. In this case, we're gonna use a roll paper for our source. Um, now down here in the layout settings is really where the important stuff happens. This is where we can decide a standard print, panoramic. In this case, we're gonna select gallery wrap. Another really cool thing about this software is I can already tell it I've got a 24 inch roll loaded and I'm going to be wrapping a 16 by 20 canvas so it knows exactly how to set those parameters properly. Last I'll set the depth of my bars. In this case it's about 1 and eh, 1.14 inches. Um, and just to show you some cool effects here too, you can do really quickly. You can mirror your image, you can add colors to the outside of it if you want to. Um, you can even change the amount of the focus that's applied to these different soft focus values as well. For today's print, I'm going to use the mirror image with the soft focus. That way we can keep our subject in the center as they were intended to be. Um, and then last, here we can let the printer manage the colors. Here would be where you set a custom profile if you're going to use maybe a different paper type or maybe a custom profile you've created. I also want to let you guys know that this is a real-time print here. Um, I did skip ahead a little bit as the print was about halfway completed, but just want to let you know that this printer is a production machine, um, about three times the speed of the previous generation. So for those needing a quick turnaround time, this can be a huge production boost for your shop. Now using the built-in cutter, I'm going to go ahead and cut this material off and we're going to take it over to our workbench here. Now, using the Paycor Gallery Wraps, we also have a sample kit which gives us all the appropriate materials so we can actually create our gallery wrap easily. So starting with our completed print, I'm going to go ahead and take our included trimmers, and we're just going to go ahead and trim this down just to make it a little bit easier to work with before we do our final trimming. Now to use this trimmer properly, you want to apply pressure to the front to make sure that that actually digs into the material, and then we're going to rinse and repeat that on all four sides. Now, with our preliminary trimming complete, we're going to go ahead and flip over the canvas, and here we're going to make sure that our stretcher bars do match up with our appropriate size. In this case today, I'm doing a 16 by 20 gallery wrap, and so everything looks like it fits great. Once I'm happy with the fit, I'm going to go ahead and remove the protective cover, and we're going to make sure that we have our double-sided sticky tape so it will adhere to our canvas properly. Next, we'll take our included positioning corners and insert the bars appropriately. You should see a notch in the bar that lines up with the notch in the positioning corners. Go ahead and repeat this for all four sides. Once that is complete, we can flip our bars and our positioning corners over and make sure to line that up properly with the canvas. Once you are happy with the lineup, go ahead and apply pressure to all four bars to adhere them to the canvas securely using even pressure. With that complete, we can now remove our positioning corners. Next, we'll go through any last trim ups using our included trimmer. We can use the edge of our stretcher bars as a guide to make sure we have a clean, nice finished edge for our customers. Also, on all four sides, we're gonna cut a diagonal so we can secure the sides to our adhesive as well. Once all sides have their diagonals cut in, we're also going to add a small middle cut to each, and those folds will be what actually attaches to our adhesive tape. Go ahead and fold all the newly created flaps on the inside of the excess adhesive. And again, we will repeat this on all four sides. With that done, it is time to apply our finishing glue. Go ahead and apply it to the inside of all four bars as this will help keep our canvas nice and secure for the long term. With that finished, we're gonna raise our sides and add our staples to keep everything nice and stable. I recommend first putting the staples in by hand and then once we're happy, we can secure them with a rubber mallet later.
As always, repeat this on all four sides. And once you're happy with it, you can go ahead and secure those down with a rubber mallet. Now, for the last pieces, we're gonna go ahead and add our frame tensioners. These tensioners will go on each corner as well, and this will give us a final nice taut image that'll hang on the wall beautifully. Again, make sure each side is as tight as possible, and once we're completed, we have our gallery wrap ready to deliver to our customer. So, if you're ready to expand your repertoire, consider the Epson P-Series and Paycor Gallery Wrap Bars for something your customers will love to see on their walls. Whether it's holiday, vacation photos, or portraits, these wraps are sure to wow. So don't hesitate to call if you have any questions.